Hey, Dr. Osborne here. Today I want to talk a little bit about the topic, one of the topics I wrote about in my best-selling book, No Grain, No Pain, and that is painful grains lead to death by medicine. Yes, you heard that right, death by medicine. So one of the biggest myths being taught is that grains are a necessity for a healthy diet. You hear it, uh, the rhetoric coming from all directions that without grain you're somehow going to be devoid of vitamin E and B vitamins and other essential nutrients when the fact of the matter is that grains and the chemicals found in grain-based products can cause leaky gut and inflammatory pain. And this has been proven time and time again, study after study. As a matter of fact, I have more than 320 references in my book, No Grain, No Pain, alluding to this information. So once you consume grain, if you are gluten sensitive and you are eating grain, that inflammatory process that triggers leaky gut can also go on to trigger inflammatory autoimmune disease. And the problem with that is that once you have autoimmunity and you visit the doctor, you're going to get prescribed medication. So understand that doctors treat this situation with pain medicine, right? And the pain medicines are also known to cause leaky gut. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. You can actually check out the uh, video playlist uh, medicines and the harm they create. And that, um, listen, ibuprofen, non anti-inflammatories, steroids, all been shown to cause leaky gut and, uh, and gut inflammation. That's why the warning on the box says, do not take this on an empty stomach. It can cause bleeding and ulceration. So it's right there in your face. Worse than that, these medications are responsible for killing 16,500 people per year. Don't believe me? Check out the references below. I put them there because I knew you probably were going to doubt this. So check that out. Painful grains and the way they're treated. So when you consume grains and, that, and you develop leaky gut and subsequently autoimmune disease, the doctors always want to give you pain medication. The pain medication can kill up to 16,500 people a year, and we're just talking about non -steroidals. We're not talking about opiates and other types of drugs, because if we combine other pain medications, the number goes up to around 32,000 deaths per year. So more people die annually of, um, of treating illnesses related to grain consumption, and that's what I want you to understand. So as you're walking away from this video, if you think you might be gluten intolerant, look, go over to glutenfreesociety.org. I'll put a link below the video. Take the quiz. Am I gluten sensitive? If you come back and that quiz looks like you could be gluten sensitive, you might want to take this information uh, much more seriously because it could just jeopardize your life if you don't. This is Dr. Osborne, author of No Grain, No Pain and founder of Gluten Free Society, wishing you excellent health. Have a great day.